Hi everyone, and welcome to the Dodo Bird Nerd. It's me, the Dodo Bird Nerd. And in today's Drawing an Extinct Animal video, I'm going to be drawing the red rail. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get started. Okay, so at this point I'm just starting off with a very basic sketch for the red rail. And I did have to zoom in a bit more in order to get a more accurate sketch started, as I wasn't getting the exact detail I wanted or more accurate just line work when I was more zoomed out. I drew in the beak now, well not now but just a bit ago, and it doesn't look exactly well so I will tweak it a bit more later. And I did a bit of work on the neck to make it look better. I'm starting off with the basic body sketch, including the little tail. And then I realize at this point that the neck is way too short and I have to move it up a bit more and I do some connections. But there will be a lot of work done to fix proportions and I am using a reference image that's helping significantly in terms of proportions here. Um, I then start on it with the leg, getting a very basic outline in, going right through there and then going up right through there and doing the back leg adding in a little bit of the like toes and stuff for that back leg and at this point i realize something yes i realize that the legs are crooked and so i have to make them not crooked to make them look a bit better and so after i straighten them out i connect them back to the rest of the main body and then at this point, I want to do a bit more tweaking in terms of getting like the neck connection with the rest of the body looking better and smoothing out the head part of the sketch. And I then do a bit more tweaks with the beak. And then I realize based on looking at my reference image, I think at this point, yes, that I drew it very wrong. The head and neck is supposed to be sticking out a bit more from the body. So I have to scooch it over. And then I have to scooch over the rest of the body over just due to space. I then have to move over the rest of the body in order to get it to line up to the reference image a bit more. And I also have to move it up a bit more as well to get it to line up with the reference image. After doing all the lining up, I have to reconnect everything in order to actually like have it sync and actually look like a normal animal drawing. And then I realized that the body was too long, so I moved the back a bit forward. And then I do a bit more reconnecting of the lines to make it a bit more connected and again have the syncing again that I wanted to have for the drawing. After I do that, I just decide to center the drawing a bit more just to make it look a bit easier to use mainly. Look a bit easier to use. Yes, make it a bit more easier to use in terms of like the little closing bit and just using it in other things in general. At this point though, I am ready to start off with the actual coloring in. I find a nice good red color to use for the feathers and stuff and it's basically just filling in the body to get it to look right in terms of just filled in basically. So I do the main body and then I move on to do the head like so. After doing all of that, I need to go and do the beak. And I didn't really know whether to have the beak and the legs be the same color or not. So I went with a darker color for the beak, and then I went with a slightly lighter color for the leg, and then I used that beak color for a further back toe, and then I used a darker gray for the back leg fully. At this point though, I added my normal electric blue eye, just choosing a better position for it, getting the, all the eye stuff set up, and then adding a little bit of a smile, I think. Yes, there's a little smile there. And I realized the drawing was a bit plain. So I add a bit of a darker red line to just show that there is indeed a wing there somewhere. I'm not sure if it's exactly scientifically accurate to where it would be, but I think it might be generally. At this point though, I remove the outline and I just smooth out the drawing just to make it look a bit better and add in the shading line on the legs and between the legs and the other legs and the legs and the body and then I just do a bit more smoothing. I do a lot of tweaks with the um, back leg just to make it look a bit more I guess similar to the front leg and it does take me a while to get there but I do get something that's 
pretty decent at some point. Like that. Then I move to erase, not erase, well, yes, erase, but um, smooth out the rest of the body, like so. And just smooth out the top of the head, and there we go. I did a bit more tweaks off screen, but here is my final drawing of the red rail. What do you think of my drawing? Let me know in the comments down below. What extinct animals do you want to see me draw in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!